These turkey meatballs are really good high protein treat that's low in saturated fat. The herbs and veggies are so delicious in this that you're never going to miss the beef. We're going to be actually cooking these, starting these off in the frying pan, but you can finish them off in the oven at 350 degrees for about to, oh, 15 to 18 minutes, and that way you'll lose even less fat. Um, now, these also are something that you can make in a batch and freeze. They freeze really well, and we'll be showing you how to do that as well later on. So let's get started and just show you the basics of the meatball. So. We've got some, um, we've got basically the uh, the holy trinity. We've got carrot, that's an ugly carrot if ever I saw one. We've got carrot, um, celery, and we've got some uh, diced red onion. Now those we're going to saute together. And when once we once everything is ready, we're gonna mix it all up with the turkey. Now with the turkey, we've got some herbs. We've got fabulous, let me bring this so you can see it. We've got fresh oregano and we've got uh, fresh thyme. Now these have all been chopped up small here and these are, these are ready to go. Great thing about uh, herbs like oregano and thyme, if you buy a bunch of them fresh, you can just tie a little string around them and hang them upside down to dry and then you've got them for another couple of months or so. Now we're also going to be putting um, breadcrumbs in these. Now these are plain breadcrumbs from a box, but if you want to, you can use homemade breadcrumbs from this, which actually I do a lot of the time. Um, and you can just literally get a heel of bread and put it in the food processor and grind it up until it's quite small. But these will do quite well at a pinch. So let's get uh, sauteing the uh, Holy Trinity together and then we'll put the meatballs together and you'll see how it is. And by the way, you're going to see that my meatballs are small. They're not great big soccer ball size meatballs. These are little tiny ones. And that way it, you can really make them go much further. So let's get to the stove. So I'm gonna put the heat on to medium high. I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon of olive oil. Now this may not seem like a lot, but you're, as you'll see, once the heat starts to, uh, once it starts to heat up, it's going to really spread. Now I'm just going to reach past here and just get a spatula. As you can see, these are cut into a, a tiny little dice because these are going into meatballs, so we don't want big pieces. And also we want this to cook pretty fast. To help it on its way, I'm just going to put a little bit of a little sprinkling of salt onto them. This will just help pull out the juices from the from the veggies make them cook quicker and make the flavor tastier. Okay, so while these are cooking away here, we'll just put the egg together with uh, the herbs and everything and get ready to make, mix up the meatballs. So, now, we're making half a recipe of this and you'll be amazed to see how much. So we've got one egg. Now, this is half of that. So I'm gonna put that into here. It's interesting to know that a whole, like a large egg like that, it's exactly beaten, it's a quarter of a cup. I'm gonna put in a pinch of salt and the herbs. Okay. Now what those are going to do is, whoops, what these are going to do is actually flavor up the the egg and so when we use it as a binder for the meatballs it's going to put flavor everywhere. So I'm going back to the stove to see how my veggies are doing. Okay. 
As soon as the uh, shallot is... Sorry, the red onion is... As soon as the red onion is cooked through and it's transparent, even a little brown, then those will be, they'll be ready to put into the meatballs. That the, um, the veggies are just starting to brown a little bit, which is perfect. So I'm just going to take them off the heat now and just put them in with the egg and mix those up. And now I'm going to put in the turkey. Now there's about half a pound here and um, which is the full recipe. So I'm just going to put in about half of this. It's funny, I never used to eat meatballs until I came to the States. And they're just such a great thing. Or meatloaf. Right, so now we're going to put in the breadcrumbs. And I'm just going to get a spatula for this. Now with little, these, these are totally plain breadcrumbs. When you do, if you do buy the commercial ones and don't make your own, like these ones are, you really do need to make sure that they're plain and have no other flavorings. Because we put in our own herbs and spices into here, and I actually only want to have those and not what the manufacturer might think is a good idea. Meatballs have about half turkey and half breadcrumbs. So you can see that a pound of turkey can go a long way. Right, that's ready to go now. So, I'm just going to take my rings off because I'm going to start shaping them up. I'm just going to put a little bit of flour on them. If you're just going to bake them, you don't need to do this, but I'm just going to start these off in the, in the frying pan. So I'm going to put a little bit on here because this is where they're going to rest, but this, on this wax paper, is where I'm going to roll them out. And on the plate is just to stop them sticking. So, this will probably make about nine or ten meatballs, amazingly, for such a small amount of turkey. Okay. See, these are small. This is the kind of size of meatball that I like. You see, now I'm taking my rings off because, in the end, you end up getting a lot of. Uh, sticky flour on your hands. But actually these are kind of a great thing when, when we do in-person classes we often make things like this because there's nothing like people like more than playing with their food so okay so that's it that's a big one because it was just a bit too this is about um, you know the recipe calls for uh, two tablespoons of olive oil to cook the actual meatballs in but especially with a pan like this you really don't need so much. So here come our pretty meatballs. Just gonna let the olive oil get nice and hot. Get that out of the way. Yeah, that's going good. Now with this you can there's two things that you can do. Get that out of the way. You can cook them just to brown them a little bit on each side. And then if you're putting them into tomato sauce, you can put them straight into the tomato sauce uh, once they're browned a little bit, and that way they'll finish cooking in the sauce. Or you can put them in the oven, as we said at the, right at the outset, at 350 for about 15 minutes to, to finish them off. And this is about as many as this pan will take. You don't want to crowd them because otherwise they'll, they'll poach. Now putting a little bit of flour on them helps them pick up, get a little bit brown, as you can see. You see they get color, they take color really quite quickly. At this stage you could just take them off and put them straight into like a tomato sauce for pasta. And you know when they're cooked is because then they, because when meat is, is un, un, undercooked it's usually pretty soft. And when, the harder these get the more you know that they're cooked through. Another reason to do, um, do them little is that they don't take as long to cook as the big guys do. Mm -hmm.